Welcome back. So glad you're still listening. Are you having fun? You must be wondering who's next and why. Is it you? What did you do? How could you end up on these tapes? Maybe you did something cruel. Or maybe you just watched it happen. Maybe you didn't even realize you're being cruel. Maybe you didn't do anything at all. Maybe you should have. Too late. I think you know exactly what you did. And after these tapes, you never forget it. I know I won't. <laughs> oh, and by the way, I'm still dead. Friendship. It's complicated. But don't worry, you'll go through this alone. That's not fun. Trust me, I've been there. Well, it won't always be easy. It might even hurt a bit. Or a bit more than a bit. That depends on you. But you get through this. Step by step, tape by tape. You and me, together. And remember, there are others. See, I can guarantee the one of the reasons you're still listening is because you really want to know who are the others? Who else is responsible for my death? You're going to learn soon enough. And of course, they're going to learn about you too, if they haven't already. What? Feeling paranoid? On edge? Yeah. High school does that to a person. You never really know who you can trust. Who you can't. But. It's all part of the game. But remember. It's not a game. Not at all. Hey. Enough of a small talk. It's time to make a start of tape 1, side B. So, without further ado, let me introduce you to my former friend. Step up, Jessica Davis. I met Jessica a couple of weeks into sophomore year. Apparently, we needed to be cancelled. Do adults understand our friendship work? Or it was a replacement for Mrs. Until you moved to another school district. Which, as it turns out, was very unfortunate. That's for another tape. Let's begin a story of Monet's. Story of a friendship. It was a hot chocolate friendship. Good for cold months, but maybe not perfect for all seasons. For a while, we were that kind of friends you wish you had. We did disgusting things like <laughs> shop together and compare what you bought and talk about boys. And just like that, two became a free. And like, before you know it, we were best friends. There was nothing that two hot chocolates and Alex's coffee drink de jour couldn't fix. You need friends. Even just the hot chocolate friends. Especially when your life goes to shit. Day after day, Drink after drink, we lifted our mugs, and we lifted each other. Despite our differences, we were what we each needed at this moment of time. Three drinks against the world, two hot chocolates, and whatever the hell Alex was drinking. Well, I'm not great at maths, but here's one thing I learned for sure. One plus one plus one. It's not a simple equation. Alex was the first one to stop coming. He found some other friends. We traded up. We were still friendly in the halls, but that's it. Then it was down to Jessica and me. And then Jessica stopped coming too. We all went our separate ways. Or so I thought. It was fine, Jess. It was. 
You that kind of girl that boys like to like. Not for dreamers about. You're a nice girl. That kind of become a cheerleader. When Jessica has something on her mind, she lets you know. I knew exactly what she wanted to talk about. Alex's list. Cause see, that is how it works in high school. Boys talk, girls listen, and everything gets messed up. At least that's how it was with us. Right, Jess? Friendship. It's complicated. Losing a good friend is never easy. Especially when you have no idea and you don't understand why I lost them in the first place. Like I said, it's complicated. 